What's up guys? I got a brand new circuit uh, for interval training for the abs. Uh, there's there's no, going to be no setups required for it, so pretty cool. Uh, a lot of hip flexors, a uh, couple of workouts that uh, replicate a setup, but you're not actually doing one. So um, I'll list in the description below uh, how I would use the workout. It's a two to one ratio for it. So say 30 seconds on, 15 seconds off. But I'm gonna run through the workout real quick and then you do what you want, set your timer and own it. So hip openers, first move. So you're standing back flat, shoulders pinch back here. You're coming straight up and open. So you're up, open, close, back down. Up, open, close, back down. Okay, hip openers. And then, so you go 30 seconds one side and then 15 second break and then switch your sides. So up, over, down, and up, over, hip openers. So sweet move, you'll really feel the burn after doing it. Uh, next move, alternating leg grabs. So you're gonna be sitting in a seat position like this, back flat. So you wanna be on like a 45 degree angle with your upper body, feet slightly bent, or your legs slightly bent, arms out, and just grab your legs. So you're just rotating from side to side, tighten your core, and grab your legs. Try not to move your arms in and out. Keep them in one spot and touch, okay? Touch and touch. Whew. Alternating leg grabs. Foot taps. Again, it's from the seat position. One leg straight on the floor, other leg back slightly, and you're still sitting in that seat position where your upper body is on about a 45 degree angle, and your straight line move up, over, down, up, over, down, okay, from the side. One leg is straight on the ground, other leg is slightly bent, straight up, over your leg, back down, straight up, back over, and down. Remember, when you're sitting back, because I just seen it in the camera, when you're sitting back, I wasn't, I was sitting more up, you need to be back, engage that core, keep your shoulder blades pinched. Act like there's something back there in between your shoulders and you're trying to pinch them. That'll engage your core more, get you the better burn. Straight up, over, down, up, over, down. Foot taps. All right. You got arm raises. So again, from the seated position, you're going to be up like this, feet slightly bent, sitting on that 45 with your upper body, hands out to the side, straight up and in the middle. Straight up. So your, your arms are kind of making like an M shape. And let your arms naturally move in the rotation. Don't try to force them into a position that's gonna make it awkward. So from the side, that way you can see kind of the angle my arms are moving. It is, I'm out, hands are at the hips, out towards the side, about eight inches, six inches away from my hips, in that C position. You're up, over, and down. You don't have to touch the floor every time. If you can't reach it, it's all right. Just reach as far as you can, really engage that core, make it burn. <laughs> Next, last move, elbow taps. So, you're holding your fist up by your chest, okay, elbows bent, arms don't move, legs are straight, and you're down, touch, okay, down, touch, try to reach your quads with your elbow, touch, and touch, okay, back flat the whole time, don't round your back like that, I know that was a little extreme, but don't round your back like that because then you won't be engaging your core as much, your upper abs. 
and stuff when you're doing it. And also this workout will work your lower back along with the seated position ones too. It's gonna work your lower back. So with the core, you definitely wanna hit the front side of your core and the back side of your core. A lot of people forget about the back, but or like your lower back being part of your core, but that's really huge. And if you got back problems, it'll help out with that. But anyways, sorry. Uh, back to the elbow taps, hands at your chest, elbows back, out slightly, shoulders back, back flat, and touch. Two, three. All right, so like I said, two to one ratio with that. So if you go 30 seconds, take a 15 second break. If you go one minute, take a 30 second break. But best workouts for uh, hit or best like time frame for hit workouts is a two to one ratio. So anyways, guys, hope you enjoy it, try it. Hopefully it burns. Uh, I felt it in my core just that little bit that I was doing it. So I'm sure you guys will too. But anyways, hit me up in the comments. Let me know what you think of it. Later.